it's just been one of those days where like everything's been happening um i have news happy friday you lovely lot it has been a definite great friday come down bug come on now so i was gonna get up for nine o'clock this morning i was had an extra half an hour of planned in bed because i didn't feel very well after chinese last night Liam let me sleep till 11. Somehow I fell asleep and he didn't, well he couldn't wake me up, he tried twice. So I was asleep till 11 o'clock and then woke up completely like all discombobulated because I didn't really know what was going on and I didn't plan on falling asleep. But it's been quite a productive day. Currently the boys are building towers. Um, Liam's been working and it's pretty much nap time but someone's not very tired. Can't make me go bed. <laughs> I'm actually really tired. Yeah. Clever boy. Yay! Yay! Oh, Circle. Yeah. And like that. Like that. What about this bit? Oh. Circle. Circle on there. Well done. Straighten that up. There we go. We'll put, we'll put a cone on top. Yeah. Yay! You made the well done. So I've been rearranging the kitchen this morning, which is why I look like I do. I haven't really gotten dressed. I've got to do a bit of editing for a PR that I've been working for. Um, when Scout does go down for a nap, because there was a, a problem with one of the videos I've submitted for them um, being a little bit too long. So I've got to do a little bit of re-editing for them. But I've swapped a few of our cupboards around because now Scout plays in the downstairs area a bit more. He's been obviously pulling out plates and stuff. So I've just put plates and things up here. So now all my food cupboards have changed places. I do want to get some like drawer clips for these though, child clips. Because this was so full that we could never find anything in it. So I've moved some stuff but now the knives are in here. So I need to get some door clips. So until then... Um, we're gonna to have to keep a very close eye on Scouty Pants. And this is all the food that I'm throwing away. Feels like such a waste, but it's either stale, out of date, Liam's not gonna eat it, or I can't eat it anymore. Like this, October, October. These went out of date in January. It is January, but. Rectangle. Rectangle. What are you doing in there? And I'm just making myself some lunch because I've not eaten yet. So we have some veggie fingers in one of those wraps, please. Liam's gonna eat chocolate. My lunch. Is it? Chocolate farms. You know they used to be like my favourite Kinder things ever. And now you can't eat them. And now I cannot eat them because they're full of milk. <laughs> so apart from that, the bunny's been out. And I need to go and get some cat biscuits. We'll do that tomorrow morning. And I'm zoomed in. So, someone's getting crabby because it is nap time. All right, guys, so we haven't actually managed to vlog much today. Really sorry about that. It's just been one of those days where, like, everything's been happening. Um, I have news. I'm going away in March. Um, we're going to Spain. Um, it's just going to be my mum and I. Um, but I've been saying for months and months and months that like I just feel like I just need a bit of sunshine like every time my mood drops all I want is some warm weather and sunshine and I think it's connected to my depression like my mood is always so much better when it's sunny when the weather's good and I just feel like for months I've needed a bit of a pick-me-up so I was talking to mum about it last night and said, you know, I really, really could do with a holiday. And she said, well, why don't we go, for, why don't you go for um, like a long weekend type break? And I was like, oh, I don't know, because I don't, don't really know anyone who could come with me. And she goes, well, what about me? And I thought, that is an amazing idea. So it went from that last night to we're going on holiday today. It's been booked. We're going to Calpe, um, which is near Benidorm. Um, we're actually flying into Alicante Airport um, and we're going for three nights. So we are going to be there for kind of like three days, three whole days anyway, because by the time we actually get there, it will be sort of late afternoon, early evening. Um, especially by the time that we've 
did the done the transfer from the airport to the hotel and then we are there for two full days and then the day that we actually travel home we don't leave the hotel until um i think our flight's not until something past five something like that i'm not sure i can't remember <laughs> but either way we've got pretty much a full day of sunshine there on the third day as well which is awesome um and i'm so excited i'm so excited i haven't been abroad i mean the last time i went abroad was when liam and i went to france and that was going on five years ago now so i'm desperate desperate for a holiday and it's just obviously it's it's a bit of money but it's money that i really 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 want to spend on just something that's going to make me feel a little bit better and brighten my mood and i don't know i'm very much looking forward to it i'm really looking forward to spending some time with just me and mum because i haven't actually been on holiday with mum for the best part of maybe 10 years um so i'm really looking forward to having that time with her just us just having a bit of a girly holiday um so yes, I've just bought my bikini because I don't actually own one. I own like a tankini thing for swimming, but it's more of just a swimming, a swimming costume. So I've just bought, purchased a bikini and now I need to work on the body that's going to go in it because obviously I've not had to think about the fact that um, I'm going on holiday. So I've not really been looking after this. <laughs> so yes, um, the gym will be a much more involved part of my life for the next month um, and hopefully I'll start seeing some progress and then I'll feel a little bit more comfortable on holiday because I haven't gotten my belly out since before I had scalp so that'll be interesting but as of now we're kind of just tidying up um, Liam's doing downstairs I'm doing upstairs I'm sorting all the washing out I've done everything today washing wise apart from what's strewn across the floor in here um, scout went down pretty easy tonight but it's already 10 to 9 so hence why this vlog I think will be a short one um I was gonna sort of roll it into two but I said I wouldn't do that anymore so just a short one bit of a ramble for me for the entire vlog and I've looked like this all day and I don't know if you guys can see probably not I actually have a bruise coming out on my forehead because scout headbutt me earlier like full pelt smack headbutt mum Ha ha, it's funny. Oh my god, that hurt. He had a moment where he was like, ha 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 ha, oh. Um, whereas I was just like, okay, he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. Ow. So I'm getting a little bit of a bruise. Hopefully it won't come to anything. But yes, I'm going to stop rambling because I need to get this done so I can edit this vlog and then go to bed. And then tomorrow is a brand new day. I'm really excited for this holiday. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Anyway, I hope you guys had a really good Friday. It's definitely felt like a Friday for me today. It's flown by. So hopefully the weekend will just be a nice, simple, easy one. We'll see. We'll see you guys then. Bye guys. I mean, obviously at the minute he's he's not really old enough to understand what we're saying to him, but I'm glad he didn't just let the bullies kind of hit him and push him over. But in the other sense, I don't want him learning that it's okay to push back because that's how bigger fights start and happen and then obviously he's going to think it's okay to push kids around.